welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a really quick little swatch and review of the Sports Girl I Like It Bronze Eyes Palette. I am wearing it on my eyes today and I have to say, straight off the bat, I'm pleasantly surprised with how these shadows went. I picked this up from Sports Girl the other day and it cost me... Oh, the price is not on here anymore, but I'm pretty sure it cost me $14.95, which is a bargain. And it has 12 eyeshadows in here. It kind of looks like it's trying to do like that naked palette thing, but whatever, that's okay. It's got three matte shadows and then the rest are shimmers. And it's got kind of like a pinky, bronzy tone to it. Although these last three are like kind of silvery, which is weird. Like I don't really feel like they fit with the palette as much, but that's okay. I use this little cream colour kind of all over my lid to set my... Eyelid primer, and then I use it as my brow bone highlight. I use this really light pink one as my inner corner highlight, which I loved. I love that one. Um, I used this matte brown color as just like my first crease color. I use this pink color all over the lid. I use this matte color as also in my crease, and then I use this kind of purpley color in the outer corner. All the colours that I use, I'm really, really impressed with the quality. They are powdery, which you kind of expect with like a, a drugstore product, I guess. But they're definitely pigmented. Like, I didn't have any issue with pigmentation. When I was packing the pink colour all over my lid, I was like, oh god, I'm going to have to put this on 50 times. But I didn't. I did have to layer it a little bit, but not nearly as much as I expected. I'm so, so impressed with how well it went on. And then when I put the purple in the outer corner, it, like, they blended together so nicely. And then when I blended it, it didn't just blend the whole colour away, which is amazing. Sometimes when I use the Chi Chi palettes, I feel like whatever I put on my lid, if I blend it out, like, in the crease, it just takes everything off my lid, and it's ridiculous. So I was so, so happy that that did not happen. I'm just going to do a swatch of all of them on my arm, and I'll show you guys how they swatch out. So here are the swatches of them on my arm. I always fail with this section down here and I don't put it around far enough. But as you can see, they are pretty freaking pigmented. I think that my favourite is this pink one down here. Like, look at that. Oh my god, it's going to be so pretty if I use it as like a cheek highlight, I think. I'm definitely, definitely loving that one. I'm actually also really surprised the matte colours, they go on and they blend out really nice. They're kind of lightish, so if you have darker skin than me, then they're probably not going to work for you, which sucks. But they're not chalky, and they don't skip when they go on. They were actually really, really lovely. As I said before, I don't really understand these last three colours in the palette, but everything, everything from kind of here on, everything from kind of here on, I think is really, really great. Um, I don't know how the staying power is going to go, and when I kind of like rub my arm, like when I rub my hand, they mix together, obviously, but they are leaving like a little bit of a stain, so I think that's good. I think that means that they're going to stay on my face, which is awesome. Obviously, I used a primer, I used the MAC Paint Pot, so I'm going to see how that goes. It is quite hot today, so, you know, they could just sweat off my face. It feels like every other part of my makeup is sweating off my face. But what are you going to do? That's summer in Australia for you. They come with these little sponge tip applicators, which I know everyone hates, but I kind of like them. If you're doing a look where you want to really, really pack stuff onto the lid and you don't want to use your finger because you've got giant talons like I do and they get stuck in your eyes, then these little sponge applicators really pack on the colour well. They don't blend. You can't blend with them, but I mean, they're not useless. Like, they've got a job and they stick in there nicely. They're not just going to fall out. So that's a good one too. Overall, for 15 bucks, if you are looking to kind of experiment with pinky colours and you don't want to go and, like, I don't know, buy an expensive palette or buy like, MAC eyeshadows or something, then this is totally, totally worth it. It's not the best of the best. If you are used to high-end makeup and you're, like, obsessed with your chocolate bar palette or your naked palettes or whatever, then you might use this and be like, ah, these are not good quality. But if you are starting out, or if you just like to experiment with a whole lot of colours, then this is awesome. And 15 bucks for 12 shadows, like, that's amazing. I recommend! I'm going to go back to Sports Girls and see if they have, like, other flavours, <laughs> other shades, other, like, another palette of the same thing, but in different colours. 
I don't know what the word for that is. I cannot think of it right now. But I'm going to go back and see if they have one. And I'll definitely buy it. Like $15, you, you can't go wrong. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.